Hi everyone, it's Matthew Moniz, and while I work on my review for the HTC 10, I thought I'd share some of the good reasons why you should buy this phone. Now don't get me wrong, it's not perfect, and I'll mention those reasons in my full review, so make sure to subscribe to the channel for that. But in the meantime, here are five reasons why you should buy the HTC 10. First up is software. It's running Android Marshmallow 6.0.1 like all the new Android flagships. And of course, HTC has paired it with its latest version of Sense. Sense has always been my favorite theme, and this year is even better. It still looks like Sense, but it's been toned down quite a bit, allowing stock Android to shine through. HTC has also done a very good job by not including more than one of the same app. For example, there's no HTC Gallery, just Google Photos. This reduces the amount of confusion and blow that's installed on the phone. I really hope the reduced amount of clutter and stock-like experience translates into quicker future updates. That would be pretty sweet. Now we all know that HTC is known for their famous boom sound speakers. They were loud, clear, and sounded great. Also, most manufacturers usually stick to small speakers on the bottom or the back of the phone, providing suboptimal sound. Well, this year the boom sound speakers are gone, but HTC has still managed to squeeze in stereo speakers by using the top earpiece for higher frequencies and the bottom speaker for lower frequencies such as bass. It's not as good as the traditional boom sound speakers, but much better than any mono speaker on the market. The sound is great and no longer do you need big bezels in order to fit front facing speakers. Speakers. One of the biggest issues with last year's HTC One M9 was its performance. It was using the Snapdragon 810 processor which had major problems with overheating. A lot of tech reviewers and users complained about the phone getting too hot. This resulted in crashes and throttling which really ruined the user experience. Eventually it was fixed with software updates, however the damage was done and I'm sure sales suffered from it. Thankfully this year the HTC 10 is now using the Snapdragon 820 paired with 4GB of RAM. Ram. The phone is super fast and fluid, it doesn't heat up and provides a really great user experience. Let's face it, the past few cameras on HTC phones have been potatoes at least compared to the competition. Well not this year, the HTC 10 takes some of the best photos on a smartphone, at least according to DxOMark. The reputable imaging reference site has tied the HTC 10 in first place next to the Samsung Galaxy S7. The 12 megapixel camera on the back with its 1.8 aperture takes amazing photos and does well under low light. I must say it does take good photos but I did notice some focusing issues. The good news it's mostly soft related and can be fixed in a future update. HTC has also introduced the first front facing camera with optical image stabilizations. Those selfies will never look better. I wasn't really too impressed with the battery life in most Android phones from 2015, but 2016 seems to be the return of better battery life. The HTC 10 is packing 3000 milliamps, and when you combine that with Android Marshmallow's Doze, you should have no problem getting through the entire day and night. It also supports quick charging which will get you 50% of your battery life in just 30 minutes. The HTC 10 also comes packed with 32GB of internal storage and continues the tradition of including a micro SD card slot. Alright, so this wraps up my 5 reasons to buy the HTC 10. Hopefully this will keep you guys satisfied until my full review comes out in the near future, but I have to say I'm really enjoying the phone so far. Now I want to know what you guys think of the HTC 10 in the comments below. Let me know what you like and dislike about it. Now, I want to thank you guys out there for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, I will see you in the next video.